Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from computergaga.com. This tutorial will look at creating milestone tasks in a project. Now a milestone task is a reference point. It's a landmark task that you can use to measure the, the progress of a project. Milestone tasks are easy to add. There are two main ways of doing so. And we're going to start off with the first way which is the preferred method which is to insert a normal task and create a milestone task from it by entering zero duration so if I was going to enter a milestone task or add a milestone task at the end of the design phase here I could right click on task 8 and insert task to insert a normal task above it and then enter pay deposit as the name of this task and then I'll pop into the duration field for pay deposit and I'll put it as zero days and that's it that is adding a milestone I can see the milestone in the Gantt chart here the diamond symbol representing the milestone task and the date after it so these can be customized for your default view of a milestone at the moment it's on the project start date so it does need to be linked in to appear at the correct stage of your project and I'm just going to quickly do that I'm going to enter some predecessors in the predecessors column uh, task 5 right website copy and task 7 view the design draft and sign off they're the predecessors so now it appears at the correct at the end of the design phase and that is uh, for me the milestone task okay the second way of creating a milestone task is that you, you can create a milestone task that has you know a duration more than zero days this is generally not recommended because of the opinion that you don't get the full benefit of of either which you'll see so for example if I insert another task here I'm going to insert a task in between uh, 12 and 13 so I've got a new 13 now this is going to be the uh, first stage payment stage build this one I'm going to put a duration of three days for so it's a normal three day task uh, which has already linked itself up see if I can find this it's this that one is it first stage payment there it's a normal three day task what I'm going to do I'm going to double click on first stage payment to open up the task information dialog box and on the advanced tab I'm going to check the mark task as milestone box in the bottom left hand corner and click OK to show that that will also create a milestone so it's a second way of creating a milestone task but you know you can see that it still has a three day duration this task but you can't see that represented in the Gantt chart which is why this is sometimes discouraged this approach uh, the diamond appears on the last day of that task so you see, can see it's a milestone and it is three days your reporting will be accurate but it just doesn't appear as so in the chart so a lot of people would be of the opinion that you should add you know, a milestone task separately uh, put it in a zero days and that is a true milestone task uh, and a better approach uh, but there are the two main ways of doing so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you for watching please check out some of our other tips and tricks at computergaga.com